Good Vach Shvua Tov. Happy Saturday night. Welcome to Allah Day number 1421. Allah Day keeps the Yetzar away. Once again, dedicated to our holy idea of soldiers. May Hashem continue to, to protect them. And we're continuing with the laws of Kiddush and meals at night and by day. The Kiddush wine, because it is a necessary component of the meal, does not require one to recite a bracha acharona, a final blessing, after drinking it. Usually, you drink the ravias of wine, which is about three ounces. Some people say five ounces, right? You make an after blessing. But in this case, because you're having bread, you do not have to make that after blessing over the wine, right? Because the Birkas Amazon, the grace after meals recited after the meal, exempts one from the, from the obligation of the bracha acharona on the wine. However, there are halachic authorities who maintain that the Birkas Amazon does not exempt the Kiddush wine from the obligation of the after blessing. Therefore, if possible, one should endeavor, after reciting Birkas Amazon, to recite a blessing upon a cup of wine, drink a revius of the wine, and recite a bracha acharona for that wine. To also exempt the wine of the Kiddush cup from the obligation of a blessing of a bracha acharona. Very interesting. Now, of course, we do this when there's a zimin, but let's see what the footnote here says. Be'er Alacha, in discussing this difference of opinion, advises instead that when reciting the Birkas Amazon, one should have in mind to thereby exempt the obligation of a bracha acharona, an after blessing, for the wine of the Kiddush as well. As such intent certainly exempts the wine after the fact. So in other words, if possible, you should say, you know what, when I bench, I'll also have in mind that this benching um, includes the wine that I drank. That was your Alacha. Thanks for listening. Sponsor Future Lucha 36 100 of the gold. Are we part of a new high club? I'll see you tomorrow.